So right now we've got, of terrestrial transport, we've got planes, uh, trains, automobiles, and boats. Mm -hmm. um, we're getting around Earth. Um, and well, what if there was a fifth mode? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, I have a name for it, name for it, which is called the Hyperloop. The Hyperloop? Uh, Hyperloop, yeah. Is yeah. it like a Jetsons tunnel? What? It's something like that, yeah. Like um, you just get in it, whisks you? Uh, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, and I'll, I'll tell you the characteristics. So this is partly prompted by the California train thing. Like yeah. we know we've got like a bullet train um, that, that's like, the, it's the, it has the dubious distinction of being the slowest bullet train um, <laughs> and the most expensive per mile. Um, Go California. <laughs> we've got some superlatives there. Um, uh, so uh, we, we're setting records at both, you know, both ends of the, the wrong, the wrong, wrong ends, ends of, the, of, 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 of the spectrum. And, um, you know, we're, we're, apparently it's going to be like $60 billion or something. Uh, to go from San Francisco to LA, and if it's if they're saying 60 now, it's going to be more later. Right. Um, and of course, it's a really slow, and slow like, train. And to put this in perspective, 100 million got you into space. Well, it got me started. I mean, it got it got me to yeah, it certainly got me to space and quite <laughs> get, get, get me into billion. orbit very close. Yes, yeah, something like that. Yeah. In terms of cap of, of cap of venture capital investment, it's been a couple hundred million total, including outside investors. Mm -hmm. So, um, and SpaceX has been profitable for the last few years. So um, I, th I think we can do, do something that's probably 10% of the cost. And, and, and I, I try to think of w what are the attributes that you'd want in a new mode of transport? Um, in fact, what is the theoretically fastest way that you could get from LA to San Francisco? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and so, so the system I have in mind, which is you've, you've sort of, you're guessing in the right direction. Um, is sort of how, how would you like something that uh, it can never crash. Mm -hmm. um, it is immune to weather. Um, it goes uh, uh, three or four times faster than the, the, the sort of bullet train that's Your being built. Your supersonic jet. Well, it, it, will, it goes about, let's say, the, an average speed of twice uh, what, uh, what, what an aircraft would, would do. So you go from downtown LA to downtown San Francisco in under 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and it would cost you uh, much less um, than, than an air ticket or cart, much less than any other mode of transport, because the fundamental energy cost is, is so much lower. And I think uh, we could actually make it self-powering self power, self if you just, uh, if you put solar panels on it, um, mm -hmm. uh, it you, you, you generate, my rough back of the envelope is you generate more power uh, than, you, than you would consume in the system. Um, and there's a way to store the power so that it would run 24-7 mm -hmm. um, without using batteries. Uh, so you, there's diff you can you know, diff different ways to store energy. Um, anyway, so that's... Do you think this is possible? This is not just... Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah.